Hey guys, have a detailed look. That was one second before wasting 25,000 euro. Hello and welcome in one of our latest Edge Performance videos. Today our topic is the Engine Pack 1. Why to use an Engine Pack 1 and what are the advantages from an Engine Pack 1 compared to an Engine Pack 2 and why you should use it. So first of all we want to show you, we started by showing you this rod which is completely twisted and banded and you can see extreme color marks in the end. You see also inside the piston pin which is going into the rod has already eaten quite a lot of the surface so that was why the heat was generated and what would have happened next is that it would stuck at this point and would break the engine block to the outside and then you have a damage of around about 25,000 euro and that's yeah we want to um, prevent this we want to prevent you from um, having this disaster with your car and um, two things to show this may happen one hand because you are using um, too much torque on the stock rod, which is not designed to handle torque about 800 Newton meter over time. And on the other hand, some of the customers are driving ethanol content fuel with the stock engine internals, which is always a little bit yeah, crazy and complicated um, because you generate too much combustion pressure by doing this. And this is causing those damages as well. And over time, if you run these combination with uh, uh, no bearing in the rod eye and the piston pin running in there, over time you will automatically see um, this also on a normal rod. Yeah, you will see, you see it a little bit, it starts on that side you see it even closer. That here we start to see wear and this wear over time will also cause the piston pin to stuck and then the rod searches the way outside of the engine block and we have a catastrophal damage. This is why we designed our H Performance rod which is not only stronger by the material, it has an HRC 43 on the Rockwell Scala and also the build form of the rod is designed to handle way more power than a stock one could. This is forged material, this is a casted material, so this is a way stronger material. Also you have the bearing now in the rod eye which prevents you from piston pins eating in stock bearing. This is no problem to be used over time. And also we have the advantage that these ones are designed for being used with stock pistons. And in this combination we have the rod designed shorter than stock. So it's shorter than a stock rod which makes a compression reduction, which is the sense of using pump fuels, standard pump fuels, um, under high loads. And here you see the piston, the stock piston, in one piece. That's how you know it. And now we cut it in this direction and also in that direction and now you see there's a groove to support the piston with oil, cool it. So over time this is by far the best solution Then this piston is ideally designed to run 700 horsepower. Everything which is done by stock pump fuel and no alcohol content, the stock piston and the engine pack one is the best alternative that you can run for low money before you end up in a catastrophic engine damage. If you're running more than 850 Newton meters over time or more than 700 horsepower over time, then you will need automatically an engine pack two or an ethanol engine pack because of the alcohol containments in the fuel. Now, as you have seen, the parts, the rod, the compression reduction, the bearing in there, and the advantages of the stock piston, why you should combine it in your car as long as the engine is healthy and fine. I will go to show you the components of the engine pack in detail. So let's have a look at the components. This is the minimum in components you need to rebuild your engine. This means you have the five rods, HRC 42 hardness, reduced compression level due to shorter rods, with the bearing now in the rod, and everything you need stepwise from the crankshaft side to cylinder head gasket, screws, the side gasket, flywheel screws, everything, intake gaskets, exhaust manifold gasket and screws, oil return line gasket. So everything you need basically as the base kit to rebuild an engine. You can upgrade this by valve springs, you can upgrade this by valves, etc, etc. Uh, chains, tension guiders, everything you can upgrade it step by step. But this is the base, you don't need more than that to open it, reinforce it, close it. And then you can add the upgrades depending on the mileage of your car or on your power goals. So thank you for watching our video today. 
I hope we gave you a little overview of what is needed for a long-term and high-power DASA DNWA 2.5 TFSI engine. Yeah.